We're, we're, we're American, American English, English, and you're watching Aaron 411. Hello guys, my name is Aaron Hanania, and I'm here with the American English, the best Beatles tribute band. Yay! The first thing to ask you guys is where do you guys get the name American English from? Well, the Americans play English music, and the English play American music, so you gotta put it together because that's where the Beatles got their influence was from American music. And we got ours from them. You bring the Beatles back to life every time you guys take the stage. How'd you guys all meet and uh, become a band? Well, me and Paul knew each other for years, you know. Yeah, we played in different bands. Right. And then we thought, you know, his hair was perfect for the yeah, job. His nose was perfect. So. so how could you stop that? And then we found John just walking about I doing was nothing. About, yeah. He was walking. And George, he had the perfect beard, so we said, he's yeah. got to be George. It's all about the beard. And that's how it got started, yeah. really. What did you guys do before you guys joined the band? Played music. Yeah, I was a musician. Yeah, What's line. the best part about your guys' job as a Beatles tribute band? The music. Make, the music. Yeah. We make people happy. The fans. The interviews yeah. with Aaron. Yeah, with Aaron. It's our favorite part of the show. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Looking out there and seeing all those smiling faces. Great like song. Great. Yeah. So what are you guys wearing earpieces? What are those for? So just so we can hear ourselves yeah. sing just so loud of them. So what are your guys' proudest moments as a group? England was one. Yeah, yeah, England, England, recording, we proud. recorded at Abbey Road Studios. We did that. That was great. Yeah, that was great. We're finding more and more Beatles fans everywhere, but in those heart centers, Liverpool. That's an yeah. honor to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys good. ever met the original Beatles members? I uh, met Ringo. I got an autograph. Yeah, Ringo. I met Paul at Satellite with Sam Beach. <laughs> and uh, played Paul was on the screen. Yeah, it was great. What are your guys' hobbies or jobs when you're not home? Uh, well, I just like to play guitar. I mean, I play different types of guitar. I like to play some blues and some other rock. Eric Clapton, you know, he used to be friends with that kind of thing. He writes songs. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, you know, too. I play an old, old, old school Hammond organ. I've got one in my living room. It's 1957. Yeah. How do you guys practice your master songs? Songs we don't practice, well, we don't there's no practice we because practice of the time. Yeah. Yeah. We, listen to we the used to practice. We do it at sound check mostly. That's the worst. Uh, you guys have accomplished so many things. You've been, uh, can you guys tell me about performing in Europe, Japan, and the Caribbean? Yeah, yeah it's they Caribbean. Were all, well, the Caribbean was beautiful. We didn't think anybody was able to you know, get the Beatles. We thought it was going to be Ricky Martin all the way. You know? <laughs> they went absolutely crazy. They were on the roofs taking photographs like crazy. The Beatles fans are everywhere. Yeah, they're That's everywhere. Right. Yeah, that Japan was insane. It was great. It was, a, it was nothing I expected. They loved the Beatles so much. Yeah. Even Australia, they went completely barmy. You guys have performed at Peak Fest. What was that experience like, especially for you being a drummer? Yeah, it was great. He was set up right next to me, you know. And he was watching yeah. my feet. He was copying what I was playing. You know, What an honor to play. I mean, he's a part of history, you know. How has becoming a Beatles tribute band changed your lives? Well, we've made a lot more money, I believe. <laughs> well, no, uh, no, I'm just chance to see the world. I mean, we've yeah. literally traveled the world, and, and, I, I, and we're blessed to be able to do this with so many great people. For me, that's big. I love. I always wanted to travel. So. We're getting to, you know, we grew up listening to these songs the same way you are, the same way he did, and everybody. But as each new album we go into, we, we try to demystify it, only to find that there's still more. something mystical about it. So. It's a constant work, you know, it's like trying to learn. You can learn music by learning the Beatles. Do you guys have any pre-show uh, pre, uh, pre rituals that you guys like to do? We all do. Every one of us has got our own strength, you know. <laughs> yeah. He's got to check his drums just so. I've got to tune the guitar. He's got to make sure his mic stands right. Every one of us has a Our thing. biggest ritual, because we're always pressed for time, is trying to be on time. Yeah, <laughs> busy. Yeah. That's true. So what's your most memorable or unique fan experience? Wow. Uh, Taste of Orland. Absolutely. Yeah. Taste of Orland. This is pretty cool. Yeah, there was like, one of the bigger festivals. There's like 20,000 people out there. I mean, yeah. We've had so many great fan encounters. It's just a lot. Yeah. You know, it's just hard to... It's I think hard it's watching the people's faces. We don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's all so great. many. It's all great. Do you guys ever get right recognized now. when you're out of character? Yeah, out sometimes. Out right yeah. Now, yeah. Right? yeah. Go to Walmart. Yeah. They say. Do they think you're yeah. Paul or do they know no, who you are from the yeah, they know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. I was incognito too. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. If you guys could have one wish, what would it be and why? Uh, 
Peace on Earth. Peace on Earth. It's always a good one. Peace on Earth. Yeah. To be able to, to be able to stay young enough to keep playing this music, but I know someday I'll have to give it up. If you guys could have one superpower, what would it be? Um, the ability to uh, fly. I think I'd like to fly. Without a problem. I never thought of that. I, I, I like to be able to crush people wherever it makes them. Yeah. Thank you, know, you guys so much. That's big dog. I have one more question. Would you guys be able to sign a baseball? Absolutely. There you go. Hey. Do you have a pen for us? There we go. Oh. It's not like we're Mickey Vandal or anything. Hey, there we go. All right. I'm going to sign a ball for Aaron. Is that an Aaron with a... A-A-R-O-N. Thank you guys so much for the American English and for Steve Newhouse for producing and putting this film together. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. You did a good job.